Catechesis of the Good Shepherd is a educational program for young children. CGS is a uh, very hands-on um, Montessori approach to uh, religious education of children. Catechesis of the Good Shepherd was developed by two followers of Dr. Maria Montessori in the 1950s as the application of the Montessori way to Christian education. It's an approach and it's more importantly a formation for the children as well as the adults. There's a very organic relationship between catechesis of the Good Shepherd and orthodoxy. The Divine Liturgy is liturgical and catechesis of the Good Shepherd is also liturgical. So it very much reflects the Divine Liturgy in a church school setting. Catechesis of the Good Shepherd actually slows down the liturgy for the children. It starts in our church at age three. We began with giving them an introduction to the Good Shepherd, which the children eventually recognize is Jesus Christ. We don't give them that information, they discover it on their own. One of the most foundational aspects of Catechesis of the Good Shepherd and a Montessori education is the environment. In um, CGS, we call it the atrium. And it's called atrium because it is a prepared environment for the child, and it's supposed to be as beautiful as possible, have connections with nature. It's not a room that feels like any other. You come in, you can tell that it's special, and that's intentional. It's just a beautiful way for them to delve deeper into what they see and hear and experience in liturgy and, and puts them directly in touch with the Most Holy Trinity and really speaks to the soul of the child. They are very protective of this space. They feel very safe here and they own it. I know some children probably are resistant to doing chores at home. You would never find that here. We almost have to teach the children to take turns doing care of the environment here. It just develops in their relationship this sense of belonging. You prepare the environment, you invite the child in, and it's up to the child as to what they want to do once they're in there. To allow the child to really interact and really connect with not just the work but the space itself and having a space that's built with that intent to allow the child to really interact and really connect. It's a special time and they recognize it as such. I think one of the goals for increasing our atrium is to increase awareness. And I think a, having a larger space is about our children in particular, but it's also about the whole Orthodox community. And I really wish our atrium was big enough to invite whole parishes in and we could just invite the child in and show them one or two works and so they could have that joy and they could have that excitement about this beautiful work that's available to the children in the Orthodox Church. I'm looking forward to the day when they have more space. We have the plans to build the new atrium. There are not very many atria across the country, much less the world, that have been built from the ground up. Most of them, like this space, have been converted spaces. To have a space that was actually intentionally built to be an atrium is uh, revolutionary and breathtaking. It will be a very different space than a converted space. It would take in consideration the size of the children, Things would be scaled appropriately. You'll see everything that you see in liturgy. Um, it will all be reflected in the atrium, um, except it is scaled down to the size of the child. It is not so precious and holy that they cannot interact with the material. We receive children as they are, and Christ said, let the children come to us. And to me, that means let them be children. Don't try to make children something different than what they are because they are as they are is how God wants them to be and 
by respecting their stage of development and providing a space and works that are appropriate to their development, you're honoring that child. We are working to build the first dedicated Orthodox atria in North America, and we'd love for you to join us.